What is going on, people? I'll tell you. It's another great day in the neighborhood. I'm doing this video. It's going to be brief. Just to let folks know what's going on. Because there's a ton of emails and this train is moving pretty fast. So I figured this is a way to clue in everyone in and also avoid these children running around the parking lot. All right. This is what's going on. I've changed a lot of things around. There's some confusion. Hustlers University is your best deal. I'm just letting you know that. Many people uh, have not figured out the game plan, so I'm going to drop it. Essentially, Hustlers University will be a special elite place of education and esoteric knowledge. Right now, getting in is the best deal. But if you don't want that, I understand everybody has different needs, different desires. There are the Udemy courses. What are the Udemy courses? That's Hustling Craigslist. It's uh, 30 days to 2500, how to sell stuff online and off. And the Confidence course and the Hustler's Mindset. That's what's there now or being developed. Going forward, there will probably be 25 courses next year of various topics because one of the things that helps me is I don't really take information and just really go from a linear perspective and kind of create my own thought map so I'm going to teach you how to do that stuff so for people who just say hey I just want this course I don't want to join Hustlers University cool it's there for you your best value there is the Hustlers uh, not the Hustlers but the Udemy Pass which will enable you to every course that's there now, will give you access to every course that is there now, and in 2015. Now, if you're a member of Hustlers University, $99 down, 25 or whatever per month, then you get the Udemy Pass and Hustlers University. Now, to answer a question, will it be the same information in Hustlers University that is in Udemy? No, it will not. Two separate schools of thought different courses different content uh, I really let my hair down in Hustlers University you won't see that stuff on YouTube you won't see that stuff anywhere else other than Hustlers University so that's what's going on with that this week is Wednesday so today tomorrow and Friday I am updating Hustlers University and all of the Udemy courses so new con contents coming in now let me tell you where I'm going you know, I'll be totally unvarnished with you. When I get up to about 10 Udemy courses, it's probably going to be $500 to $700 worth of content right there. When I get up to 20, it's going to be probably two to 3000 And when I get to 30, so what I'm saying is get in now. Because one of the things I like about Udemy is it gives me the flexibility to create courses to do things that I really wouldn't do in Hustlers University. And it really has freed me because, like I said, Hustler University, because the next, you know, creating companies for fun and profit is going to be mind-blowing. So that's what's going on. And it's going to be some esoteric stuff. So you can pick and choose and refuse. Then also in 2015, I've got a few people in the writing publishing course, which I'm glad there's only a few people. Uh, I'm working out how to do the self-publishing thing. That's a course will be available sometime next year. And that is not part of Hustlers University. Because anyone that wants to get into the publishing game must realize it's a long-term deal. You're not going to write a book in a week. Or if you hire someone to write it, you can. There are many people who are creating tons of books, having like 75, 30 books, a lot of volume, making three, four thousand a month on you know various topics. I looked into doing it. I know someone that was doing it with Create Space books, and this guy was making a pretty penny. But he was writing the books, he was putting them out there. But the publishing model that I'm gonna put out is gonna be very different. It will be your platform first, everything else second. From my eBay experience, I'm, it gave me a lot of insight. At some point, all third-party platforms behave the same. At some point. And if you don't control your information, you don't control your access to your customers, 
it's gonna cost you. Now, with that said, you can scale up much faster on the third party platform. You can make money on the third party platform. But the thing is, and this is what, what's going on with Udemy, they make it very easy to, for you to come over there, but you have to bring some friends to the party. You have to bring some friends to the party, maybe a little fruit punch, some cookies, maybe a little roast beef or some, some of those little sandwiches, hot dogs in the bun, and then you can really shine. So essentially, the Udemy model, eBay, Amazon, all have very similar components, yet they're very different. But if you can manage to make a livable income from your platform and then use third-party platforms as add-ons versus the main course, it just puts you in a very powerful position to win. Because as the world grows, so does the number of people who are going to buy products. Now, the third-party platforms, they're doing a good job. They're going to continue to grow until someone does a better job. And that's very possible because everything has a life cycle. But if you put the time, effort, and energy, it's slower. My mother, it's slower building your own platform. It's slower, it's harder, but it's well worth it. Because if you think about it, and I get this from Sally Mae Jones, a woman that I used to visit next door neighbor when I was a kid. She had this saying, if you live long enough, you're going to get old. Sounds very simple, but if you're looking at this, it's like, God, it's going to take me six years to get there. I don't have time for that. Well, what if you're not working on something for your future and those six years come and pass? You're going to be in the same boat. Well, actually, you're going to be in the worst boat because you can't get those six years back. Once they're gone, they are gone. It's a wrap. It's a done deal. So you've got that to contend with plus your immediate needs. And this is one of the things that I put up in the video the other day. You cannot keep hoping and wishing your fucked up life will turn around overnight. That is, if it got fucked up over a long period of time, odds are it's going to take some time to unfuck it. That's just reality. I've been there. When I was living in that fucking boarding house, sitting around my lips stuck out and mad at the world, I had to go, dude, you got here because you made some fucked up decisions. That was the truth. And until you get to that point, you can't fix yourself because you're just a victim. I'm a little victim. Oh, God, the world hurts. Everyone hates me. The world is a... <sighs> bitch. You're just a little scared bitch. That's all you are. And we know what happens to cowards. They die a thousand times. I, I really figured that out because I'll share something with you. About 10 years ago, I made a real firm decision no, actually longer than that, about 50. I made a firm decision that there were certain things I would never ever do in life again. Just would never ever do. Certain things I would never ask for. It just would not allow myself to be put in a certain position. And it was a lot of pain in the interim. It was a lot of pain up front, a lot of pain. But now, you know, when I made the decision, went through the months of bullshit, then now it liberated me from pain in the future. It liberated me from pain now, it liberated me from pain in the future, because that shit's been addressed. So what I'm telling you is, if you gotta bite a bullet, you gotta like take it on, look at it, it's like, think of it like this, taking one punch or getting your ass kicked every week. Which would you take? <laughs> Neither one is pleasant, but one punch or a weekly ass kicking for five, 52 weeks, or maybe 104, or shit, maybe 150, or 160, 162 weeks, getting your ass kicked, or one punch, what you gonna take? Many people would go for the payment weekly getting their ass kicked plan, because it's like, all right, well, you know, it's, it's, it's not that bad, and I don't have to do it now, and you know, and I'll just deal with it. It's just like, you know, renting shit from those rent to own places that you pay four to six to seven to eight, maybe nine times more than if you had paid cash to save up your money and bought it somewhere else. You gotta get out of that cycle. And I noticed that Aaron's rent to own, they actually grew during the recession. Just tells you where people's priorities are because it, it, it's just a bad way to go. It's just a bad way to go. So hopefully this cleared up a lot of confusion 
and you know I'm just gonna copy and paste this in this video to people and then you know we could talk about the future <clears throat> excuse me I should have brought that water up here um, 2015 is gonna be hot it's gonna be hot on several different levels very very hot a great deal of content coming down if you've ever had the opportunity to see my screen I got the desktop as a picture of all the books and goals and courses I'm going to create it's, it's what four by like three by four or three by five on my wall it's covered tons of stuff is coming now oh also the big difference between Hustlers University and the Udemy courses Udemy courses you can get in you can get out because one of the things I've learned from teaching online is many people do not stick with long-term courses. They just don't, except for the hustler mindset people. You know, building a business takes time. That's one of the reasons that I created the extremely flexible finance plan. I mean, if you can't pop $99 down and 25 bucks a month, and it's also five G's for the whole course, but I give you three freaking years to pay. And let me give you the thought process behind thought process behind that. If you take the information and you work hard for a year, I have no doubt that you'll be easily able to pay me the five G's easily, or at least knock half of it out and just boom, go on with your life because it's a one-time fee. Because I'm betting on you, and I, I know people are like some of my friends think I'm nuts, but I just know that some people are just gonna fucking knock it out of the ballpark. I just know this. I just know it. So that's why I'm doing it. And also, another lesson here, and it's an ownership lesson. If I was using third-party content or had a partner with this, I couldn't make that decision. But because I create the material, I create the content, I put together the platform, I can make these decisions you know I, I i got the crown on and i got the scepter and i was like i knight thee i can do that you can't do that on these third party platforms because if you do you may have to take a bath and the bath may be full of tax you like wash it ah, ooh, ah. so just saying you build your own shit it gives you incredible options i cannot tell you how many options you have when you have your own shit. It is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I'll tell you something I did with one of my other products that has nothing to do with the content of this channel. I leased it out to someone. Nice payday. It was like, hey, can I do? Hey, sure, yeah. All right, sign here, check, cool, thank you. And that's something else. I'm gonna actually talk about some of my other businesses next year in the courses because I think a lot of people want me to forever be the storage auction guy. And the storage auction business was amazingly wonderful to me, but I knew that if I did not buy units, it was gonna come across as, a, you know, you full of shit. You ain't bought the units since 2009, but you still talking about fucking storage auctions? Who the heck, no, that makes no sense. It makes no sense. But I can talk about YouTube. I can talk about making money online. I can talk about how to build a tribe. I can talk about platforms. I can talk about publishing. So you got to keep elevating your knowledge base. You cannot stay static. You can't do it in this world we live in today. You just can't. That's why I keep messing around with tech. That's why I know, you know, I don't do uh, Vine, but I know about Vine. You know what I mean, man? Six seconds, six seconds, six seconds. I mean, seriously, you got to know about this stuff because the more that you know about what's going on in the world, the better you put your better position you put yourself in to profit from that knowledge. I mean, it, it's just crazy, insane what is available. And someone's just you know called me Mister. The world is full of abundance. There's abundance of everything, but many people are mentally and spiritually poor. I don't care what their professional accreditations or credentials and all this stuff are. Mentally, they're poor because when you have someone who makes two hundred thousand dollars a year and they taking home those cheddar biscuits because they don't want to waste nothing. Typically, the upbringing was very uh, an environment of lack because I've seen that because someone did that recently and I was like shocked as shit and I was like, wow. 
because these were the because all right this is how it went down because i don't want you to think of me and crass they asked for extra biscuits after we finished and took those extra biscuits home i love the cheddar biscuits i do i do i love them cheddar biscuits but uh that was just real tacky that was just dressed up ghetto for real so you you got this stuff going on so essentially we're gonna have more behavior training because that's what did it for me and I'm gonna give you a great example a really really good example when I was jumping into the storage auction business I had several people tell me I couldn't do what I did tell me up front oh you can't do this oh you get in the warehouse oh you're gonna lose your ass and you several people several people now where I did go wrong was with that online furniture store that actually sucked up an amazing amount of money. I think <laughs> I just shake my head at the amount of money I lost on that. But it was a lesson to learn. And really, that's where a lot of money went because the storage auction business was cash cow. It was pretty much a cash cow from jump. But this is these are the lessons. But essentially, with people telling me that I could not do it, I sat down and created a plan. Initially, some of the things I wanted to do, they didn't work. Kept pushing. Kept pushing, that didn't work. Kept pushing, didn't work. Kept pushing, didn't work. Kept put. oh, this works. Boom, here we are. So that's how you have to look at the business. And that's one of the reasons, once again, the Udemy Pass is going to be the best thing you can get because when these courses start lining up and you start seeing that stuff, and I know there's some of you, you're not going to buy, you like Glendon full of shit. And then next year around March, and you see what's in there, you're like, damn, I should have bought it. Oh, yeah, another thing. Uh, once an offer ends, unless I screw up, I'm not going I'm not going to honor it. So if I say the offer ends at 6 p.m. and I didn't screw up and I didn't make any mistakes, once 6 p.m.'s over, I pull down the payment buttons and bam, it's over. Because I'm growing this. Like I said, there's so much stuff that's coming. There's so much stuff that's coming. That's why I'm like, "Hey, you know, here it is. Hit the email, you like it? Fine. Okay, you don't like it." And I just keep pushing and pushing because Ultimately, probably this time next year, I'm going to put out the, the probably the tribe building program because I have a better template to give to you. Because to me, going back to what's the core of Hustlers University is building your own shit. You're going to need a tribe in the future. The ability to leverage Facebook, YouTube, um, Twitter, any of these other, you know, Reddit, it's going to become insanely hard without paying a lot of money. Because once these platforms get their get their plan together, get their strategy together, and realize that they can make a million a day by pimping you out, make two million. Oh, it's on. It's on. I mean, the only thing that'll be missing is the fur coat and the feather. It's going to be on. So if you have your own tribe, you will be immune from that. But if you never take the time to build your own tribe, you are going to be in a lot of trouble with that. Because, you know, what was the thing? Cassini, Cassie, whatever, some bullshit with eBay. When I first joined eBay, if you listed decent shit for a 99 cent auction, had that shit set to go at 6 p.m. on Sunday, you might sell out every week. Nothing spectacular, nothing crazy, just regular serviceable stuff. I'm talking gloves, you know, like knit gloves, snow boots, uh, polo shirt. Just not, I mean, that shit, most of it would go. Most of it would go. Then I noticed they started playing games with the search and the reach. And, you know, if you had stuff in the store, then pop up in the general search. And then you had it. it they screwed up one weekend because we had a store and I remember it was like the best sales we had all, ever had. And I looked and I saw that we were in the general search. We're having like some of the best sales when that store was in general search. Then they took it out of the general search and the sale, it was like someone turned off the tap and the water just stopped flowing. And at that point, I was like, oh, this is getting stupid. This is getting stupid and this is going to be a problem. So essentially everyone is going to start regulating their traffic and their reach 
You can come play on that platform many times for free. You can use the water. You can do all kinds of stuff. I mean, you go in the master bath, take a shower, use their cologne, their soap. But when it comes time for to get some cash, oh, that's going to be hard because they're going to control that cash flow. And I can't say that I blame them. They built it telling you you got to build your own stuff your own platform so that's going to be the fundamental difference of hustlers university and the unity courses there will still be some of that but i know that people are just you know drunk on these third-party platforms gotta have them got gotta gotta get that little gotta get that little taste so there'll be a little sum in there because the only thing that i'm still bullish on i would say etsy and craigslist and I heard that Itsy's changed some of his policies with stores. But the thing is, if you're making your own stuff and they're not taking a big hit, to me, that's a win. That, that's just a win. And I think that people are so impatient that it's very challenging for them to wait to build something. I think it's just so onerous that when you say, hey, you are going to be really doing well in a year or two or three then they just start ah that's too long that's too long I can't, who got time for that who got time i can't wait for that can't wait for that so you got that stuff going on and that just creates a problem it just creates a big big problem so hopefully this rant information just off the top of my head because i'm a little dizzy from the gym helps you out and also all right since i know that you stayed to the end i'll put in a little special deal for you a little special deal no more ebay no ebay no amazon more money okay 75 dollars what i will do and you know, i'll put a link here so you can go straight to it what i will do is give you a coupon for like a hundred bucks off a consult yeah so when you buy from this link because this is the beauty of the stuff that i'm building i get to control this stuff and i get to have a lot of fun with uh oh i'm actually going the wrong let me pull over and do this before i really get lost i'm gonna give you a coupon for a hundred bucks off of a consult and uh it will expire in 90 days so if you want to consult this your chance to get a little some some off so essentially once you buy it you get your course at you know 24 72 hours i'm going to send you a coupon and it's going to be like boom 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 and you'll be able to use it for consults only so let me be really clear 100 bucks off a consult get a coupon so that's how we're going to work it. all right this is glenn and i'll see you on the good side